After reviewing these ads, do you suddenly have the temptation to go out and indulge in a juicy burger? You betcha! Whether or not you're hungry right now, I am quite confident that you're thinking about a burger. Why is that, you say? The geniuses behind Neuron Marketing have worked with various companies like Carl's Jr. to figure out what specific sensory images and sounds trigger certain emotions to get you wanting to buy their product. Crazy, isn't it? So while we are on this topic, what exactly is Neuron Marketing? Neuron Marketing is a study of what persuades us to buy certain products. It is a science used to understand the motivation behind a consumer behavior. It takes the tools and theories used within neurosciences and applies it to the field of marketing. In the end, you get an accurate measure of how consumers really feel about your product. The reason behind the success of neuromarketing is primarily because it removes subjectivity and ambiguity within advertisements. Although while doing that, it measures for metrics such as emotional engagement and memory retention. The basic set of techniques like EEG and fMRIs are used to generate neurological images. Other common neuromarketing methods that are used are eye tracking, which is a process of measuring the point of where one is looking, and the recording of body temperature changes when aroused. These techniques can be used to test advertisements to make them more effective and memorable. The results from these various test methods make it possible, possible for us to understand what customers want and need. With this information, companies are able to revise current marketing strategies to be more attractive to their niche market. At the extreme end of neuromarketing, such results provide companies with information to present their products in a more persuasive manner so that consumers are more inclined to make the final purchase. An example of how neuromarketing can improve an advertisement would be the Sunsilk ad. What part of this ad caught your attention? Was it the female's face or the actual product itself? Because of the method known as eye tracking, we know the average person mainly focuses on the female's eyes. Further research later revealed to us that we are capable of directing the consumer's attention onto the product if the model in the ad is looking at the product instead of straight ahead at the camera. In the book called Brainwash by Martin Lindstrom, he explains how the company Unilever used neuromarketing research to put a new brand of deodorant and shower gels in the market. Today, it is widely known as Axe. They wanted to sell Axe to men, and the research revealed that the ultimate male fantasy was to be irresistible by several sexy women. With this knowledge, they shaped their entire Axe marketing campaign around the notion that using Axe will get you late. In just a couple of years, Axe had already become one of the biggest and most well-known companies in most countries. This right here is an example of how neuromarketing led us to discover that sex sells. But you already knew that, didn't you? The first academic research done using neuromarketing methods was an experiment comparing Pepsi and Coca-Cola. The experiment used fMRI scans to test consumer preferences towards these brands. These scans detected and localized brain activity with precision never seen before. In a blind test, subjects often preferred Pepsi, but when the subject was aware of the brand, they favored Coca-Cola. This is because when drinking Coca-Cola, fMRI scans showed that there was increase in brain activity, while Pepsi showed minimal amounts. Coca-Cola has found ways to ingrate its messages into the mind of consumers, to the point where they trigger brain activity when the brand is present. Now, we all know that smaller companies don't have the budget to spend thousands of dollars on scientific research for product details like what color your packaging should be or what tweaks would make your product sell better. But luckily, the thing about science is that experiments always follow formula and may be replicated. By studying patterns and common trends, SMEs can find individual ways to apply a neuromarketing research to their company without having to dish out the extra cash. The following are just a few of many examples. Have your product stimulate a response from the consumer. Take advantage of the five basic human senses and find ways to associate them with your product. You want the consumer to feel attached on a personal level. Second, 
make them feel like their certain lifestyle is incomplete. Research has found that convincing a consumer that not having your product will hurt them in some way will actually sell more than if you convince them that they'll gain something from purchasing your product. Next, you want to leave a lasting impression. The most crucial times in a commercial is at the end. Make sure you take advantage of the last few seconds of your ad. Another advice would be to emphasize the sale price. When a payment plan is available, a consumer is more likely to purchase your product if they can make multiple small payments rather than one large payment. Lastly, adapt to the culture. Get to know your target market according to the geographic location. Know that no two consumers are alike. So there we have it, Neuromarketing 101 and how it could benefit small and medium enterprises.